have not found a perfume I love more than Burberry Her since when guys? Like 2020? Nearly three years now, so that's a long time. Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of girly beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. For today's video, I'm going to go ahead and be doing my Sephora sale haul. I did get my bag of goodies. Insert clips of me shopping right here. I did go to Rodeo Drive and go to the Sephora there. Um, for whatever reason, that's the most stocked up Sephora I've been to. So I was able to find quite a few of the things I was wanting. A few things were sold out, so um, they're sold out online as well, so I wasn't able to get my hands on it. Like I really wanted two of the Rare Beauty lip oils and some more Rare Beauty blushes, but those are like completely, completely wiped out. So I got what I could, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I got today, and we're going to be putting everything on. I just felt like kind of trying the makeup on today. You guys know I prefer doing try-on hauls, like whether it's clothing or makeup. I just really like trying things on whenever I do the haul we get to play in makeup it's fun I do have iced coffee today because i had quite a bit of things to do today like laundry and things so we're sipping on iced coffee manny and i are about to take a little road trip to the mountains <laughs> that's what's going on today but little disclaimer you do not need everything i think the sephora sale is a time to take advantage of you know certain brands or things that don't go on sale often and get a little discount on them or like fragrances fragrances is a great thing to buy during the sephora sale i have a fragrance to show you guys which will be at the end i'm gonna save the best for last just because i do want to do my face right now so i'm going to show you guys the makeup first a little small bag and then a larger bag and we're going to be hauling this stuff today i'm gonna start off with some skincare i got the glow recipe watermelon niacinamide dewdrops and i'm really really excited for this a lot of people rave about this it's just a really pretty packaged product you guys know i don't disappoint your pink fairy godmother is here to deliver some pink goodies always but this bottle is just everything it feels expensive it's glass, it's pink, it's iridescent. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. Like, I just want to put this on top of my vanity and stare at it because it's just so pretty. So, you take the lid off, and it does have a pump. This, these are called dew drops, but really, this is like a little serum, I guess you can say. I'm just gonna pop that on. Let me actually get my hair out of my face because I did do this cute little bun hairstyle. This is my favorite hairstyle to do when. My hair, I'm just not feeling like doing my hair. This is my go-to. Put on a headband to kind of get my hair out of my face. I am using my little Shein towel headband today. Okay, that actually looks somewhat cute. It's giving Frida Kahlo vibes, but I like it. It has a slight watermelon scent, which smells so yummy, to be honest. And I do love Glow Recipe already. Like, I've used their spray. I use their overnight glow mask. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's the watermelon, the spray. I just love the watermelon line because I have dry skin. So this stuff is super nourishing. And my skin really loves this Glow Recipe line. So it did give us a really pretty, like, glass skin type of glow. It's also a little sticky, so it might help your makeup like adhere. So I kind of let that soak in for a minute. I just wanted to see what it does, and it definitely made me look very, very glowy, which I do really, really like. A little bit confused whether I should do this or not, but the next product I have, get this. I was not planning on getting this, but when I looked at it in the store, rubbed it on my, the back of my hand, and then I looked it up on the Sephora website, I saw the review, <laughs> and I couldn't. I had to have it. So this is the Natasha Denona Skin Glass primer serum so i guess since the dew drops this is more of like a just a serum i guess probably use this as our primer and to see how it works since they're both like we hopefully they'll work together it's supposed to be very hydrating and energizing like plump your skin i feel like this definitely took care of but i mean we can always see what this does because this one has like this shimmer in it let me show you guys packaging is like just really pretty white and like a rose gold and this is so beautiful when you guys see oh my goodness i just have to show you guys this product it's like it has like reflex in it i don't know if you guys will be able to see it it basically has like these golden golden reflex to it i don't know if it's going to show up on camera you can kind of see it right there I'm gonna go ahead and also apply that. I'm gonna kind of like 
not put too much just because we already have the dew drops i got like a dime size amount i feel like my skin's gonna look so plump with both of these together this definitely has those golden reflex so i feel like this is really gonna have the glow peek through whatever foundation i put on which i did get a foundation so we're gonna use a new foundation i'm really excited because this foundation was out of stock for some time in my color and i'm really excited to finally have it because it is probably the number one rated like foundation on sephora right now everybody just seems to be raving about it so i'm excited about it it's really pretty it gave like i was afraid it was gonna be glittery but it's actually really 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 fine like the little reflex in it are really finely milled i guess or really fine or really small so it didn't actually give a glittery look to my face it looks pretty nice i'm gonna apply some eye cream just because i can't live without eye cream i can't do my face without eye cream and this is not new this is the charlotte tilbury magic eye rescue um this is at sephora so if you want it i recommend it for like a daytime eye cream it's extremely hydrating and it makes your concealer just kind of like go on really smooth without it drying up or getting dry patches underneath your eyes if you have dry skin so yeah i have to have to have my eye cream so sorry that i didn't get a new eye cream but yeah i thought about getting a new eye cream but this is such a big jar i'm trying to finish it up i don't want it to expire i don't want to move on to something else and then forget about that one i've been doing this thing where i try not to purchase too many of one product where which you guys are gonna be like, sis, you're a liar because I got like three blushes, okay? But blush is like something I can alternate with. But when it comes to like my skincare regimen, like my um, face wash and eye cream, things that I use every single day that I don't alternate, um, I do like to kind of go one or two at a time just so that I'll actually use it and nothing will expire. So you're new here and you clicked on this because you're looking for like Sephora cell um, hauls. Like you're just looking at Sephora Soul Halls. We talk a lot. We chit chat on this channel. It's like, I like to make it to where it's like we're hanging out. I don't like to be too technical. Although I do know a lot about makeup and, and ingredients and things like that. I don't, I don't want to make my channel boring. Like I want you guys to actually enjoy watching this. I want to be able to have like girl time with you guys. Be able to do our makeup together. And just have a good little time, you know? So, nation I got. Are you guys ready for this? I mean, I feel like you guys are going to be like, you're going to be like, yeah, we, we already knew. We already knew. So this is the House Labs foundation. This is, I got the color 175 Light Neutral. I did color match myself in the Rodeo Drive store, which I went up to the windows to see to make sure that it matched really well. Um, but I'm really excited about this. Everybody says this is amazing. It gives you flawless looking airbrushed skin and that it's like medium to full coverage. So I don't know if that's like the exact claims on this foundation. Cutting edge longwear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. It has 20 plus skincare ingredients. It's buildable, medium coverage, luminous second skin finish pretty excited this sounds exactly like my favorite guerlain foundation and i'm excited because this is a lot cheaper than guerlain i think this was 45 dollars well and then there was the discount actually have the receipt right here yes this was 45 dollars versus my guerlain foundation is 60 dollars so if this is as good as that i'm very excited to save myself a little bit of money so here is the the packaging i'm gonna be honest for lady gaga i was expecting more intricate packaging or like something a little bit more but this is very lady gaga if you think about it like it's kind of like a little edgy it has a little edginess to it with like this like weird design on the lid so it, it has like a little pop of her but i feel like she's so extra that i expected her cosmetic line to just have different packaging like something more intricate or like more gothic looking i don't know but one thing that i don't love <laughs> i'm picky with packaging if you guys have been on my channel long enough you'll know i'm picky with packaging why isn't this silver <laughs> why doesn't it match the lid why i just i don't get it lady gaga why why did we make this black i don't know i don't know maybe it's her way of having like her gothic touch to it to make this thing black because there is a lot happening in LA today like just a lot and I'm actually not in downtown um I don't I'm not gonna disclose like my location obviously but I'm not in downtown so 
Um, it's usually not that noisy where we are. It's a little noisy, nothing crazy. But today it's like extra noisy. So of course I'm going to apply it using my foundation brush. I didn't get any eye products. You guys are going to be shocked. I didn't get anything for my eyes. No eyeshadow palettes this time. Usually I will buy an eyeshadow palette during this sale because it's just a great time to get a discount on a good eyeshadow palette. But there was just nothing that was calling my name and I feel like I have so many eyeshadow palettes. If I end up caving and doing like an online order because I might do that, um, I'll get, I'll probably get an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I really wanted to get the Natasha Denona bronze palette or one of the Biba palettes because it's just a good time to get it. But to be honest, a 20% discount, like they... Like, a lot of the brands will give you that, like, off of the brand website. They'll give it to you with just signing up for their mailers or, like, their emails. You know? I think because Pat McGrath has quickly climbed up to one of my favorite brands, I would have bought some Pat McGrath stuff. But I didn't because Pat McGrath has, like, a 40% off sale every year. So I just get stuff during that sale. So I feel like I need a little more... And I do like to build my foundation up to a medium or a full coverage right now. Just because I have blemishes, usually when my skin's like super clear, I prefer a light to medium coverage. But just right now, I have more to cover than normal. This is a perfect color match, but I did color match myself in store. But if you guys are a similar foundation shade to me, I wear Too Faced Light Beige, I believe. I wear MAC NC25. I'm in my... Guerlain, is it Guerlain? In Chanel, I'm like BD30. Just on a first impression, this does remind me a lot of my Pat McGrath foundation, but this one has a little bit more of a dewiness to it. Just the world does not want me to film today. <laughs> it's so noisy. Like, I love my Pat McGrath because it looks really natural and it's skin like. This is definitely skin like. But it's giving more dewy than Pat McGrath a little bit. The consistency of the formula itself is thicker than Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath one is like liquid. Like that is liquid. Like you could not put it on your face and the blob will sit there. No, it's like liquid. It'll just drip down your face because it's like almost like water. And this one definitely is a little thicker. It's giving a serum-like look to skin. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this kind of set in so I can give you guys... I, the one thing I'm noticing right away is it's creasing right under my nose. I don't know if that's just because of, I didn't blend it, but we're going to go ahead and blend it. I'm not seeing creasing anywhere else. Usually my foundation will crease really bad on my forehead. That's like my creasing spot and it's not doing that. It's like very flexible. In my eyes, I didn't get any eye products like I told you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to do something simple, just like a wing and lashes. I'll come back to test out the rest of the products and then I'll show you guys the fragrances I got. My eyes are done. I'm not like in love with my eyes. I think it's the lashes I'm not in love with, but it's okay. We're just going to keep going because this video is not about eye look. It's about trying the new Sephora makeup. So it's okay. This video is not about the eye look. Clearly, it's about hauling the Sephora stuff. If you're wondering what palette I used on my eyes though, I use the ColourPop Blush Crush palette. It's very, very, very pink. So yeah, I wanted to do a little pink moment. You guys will see why when you see the rest of the haul. I did get a concealer. This is the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. I've been wanting to try this for some time. It is a really, really... Um, cute packaged concealer i love the packaging of this and i've been wanting to test this because i do love the backstage foundation so i wanted to try the concealer next and i got the color 2n I'm going to put it in all the areas i would normally do concealer the applicator is really different instead of a doe foot it's like a brush it reminds me of nail polish it's like a brush with bristles but it's like extremely precise like i feel like you could carve your eyebrows with this brush i'm actually using the brush to carve my to carve out my winged liner and it worked really really well for that use my precise face brush to blend this all out looking like it's not gonna be that much coverage which i didn't really read the claims i just kind of bought it because it looked like it would be good i didn't really think about this one too hard lash perfector concealer it's it's supposed to have high coverage a natural glow finish crease proof i think the crease proof part is what got me and it's supposed to be waterproof so maybe maybe i just don't know i'm judging it too early on let's see if it has the high coverage it claims i've had really good experience with Dior cosmetics like 
Dior makeup. I don't think I've ever purchased anything from Dior that I did not love before. So it blended out really easily. Also, update on the foundation. Even though it just sat while I did my entire eye, it did not really ever dry to matte finish. It dried down more to like a satin dewy finish, but we also have to keep in mind primed and prepped my face with really glowy things so okay yeah it's like more like medium coverage but it's very very skin like it's very dior vibes like their dior backstage foundation is very very skin like so this definitely reminds me of that i think i will actually end up liking this concealer and you guys know even the most high coverage concealers in my collection i still go in and add an extra layer right in this area right here. It doesn't matter how much coverage a concealer has, I will still go in and do that, so. And if it will build right in this section here where I like to go in with a little more, or golden because that's what I do anyway. Oh, I love the finish of it. It's just so skin-like. It doesn't set into my fine lines at all at least so far who knows with wear time by the way if you have watched this far go ahead and insert this emoji in the comment section right here i feel like it's very pretty but i think i i like it i like the finish of it i like the coverage i just feel like i need some brightening you know what i mean like i just need maybe i need to get a li even lighter shade to brighten go ahead and do my cream contour and i did get a new contouring stick i've been dying to get my hands on this this is the rare beauty warm wishes stick bronzer and this is in the color always sunny it is a really really good color it is pretty warm it's not taupey at all so just keep that in mind it's like really really smooth i'm noticing and i don't do a lot of bronzer on my forehead i, I really like the the silkiness of the bronzer like how it applies super easily it doesn't tug it doesn't pull it's almost like moussey silky i don't know i'm taking my angled brush and i'm just going to be blending that in oh it's like a really beautiful like warm color i will admit it's not blending as quickly as say like my patrick tall bronzer like kind of melts into the skin this one does take a little bit more effort to blend but it is really beautiful i'm like becoming more and more obsessed with the foundation the more i look at it the finish is so beautiful i feel like this rare beauty contour stick is gonna be my go-to when i want to look really bronzy it's just like a really bronzy color as to where my pat mcgrath it's i got the color she is sculpted that one is definitely more of a cooler tone it's not like cool tone but it's definitely more neutral than this this one's very warm it's so pretty i feel like these colors really do flatter my my skin i have like a neutral olive tone to my skin this one is like a really good in between it's warm but it's not orange all pencil it well it is i'm gonna take a small fluffy crease brush and i'm just gonna use that to blend the nose contour this one is my my fluffy crease brush from my collection my brush that will be restocking may 1st so i will leave the email down below if you guys want to get on the wait list for that that's kind of like the number one compliment i've been getting on them is how um good quality they feel once you like hold them i went in on the cream products a little bit because my most empty makeup drawer in my collection is my cream product okay i do have two cream blushes i'm gonna try one on one side one on the other the merit flush balm in the color beverly hills so this was recommended to me by chantelle which is actually um one of the girls on the sl miss glam team she's actually steph's friend so she actually took me over to the merit section and showed me these and i almost i almost grabbed it i was like i'm gonna get okay i'm gonna get one but then they had the rare beauty ones in stock so i got a rare beauty one i got the color grace from rare beauty let me show you guys in case you guys want another good recommendation if they have this in stock i would snatch it it's such a beautiful beautiful liquid blush but anyway yeah that's the only reason i didn't grab this because they had the rare beauty one in stock and i was like okay i'm gonna get the rare beauty one but this time around with the discount i went ahead and picked this up look at how cute like this packaging is it's so pretty and it like feels so nice in your hand like to just like i don't know so the other blush that i got is by patrick ta and this one i was so shocked they had one left and i snatched it so fast this is in she's a doll any color that is this color is sold out at sephora and i don't know 
I don't know. I guess it's like a really trending color. I remember buying the Dior blush. You guys know which Dior blush I'm talking about. I'm like, should I get it out and show you? Or do you guys know what I'm talking about? So I bought this blush in 2020 or maybe it was 2019. I don't know. It, it might have been 2020. You guys watch my channel. I know I hauled it in a video. I know I used it in a video when I first bought it. It was not popular at all. Like nobody was talking about it. And I just got it because the packaging, like, let me be real, the packaging is so pretty on that Dior blush because it's like a pink that adjusts to your skin. And um, now, ever since that Dior blush went viral, everybody's buying out any shade that looks similar to it because that Dior blush is sold out all the time. So this is a cream and powder blush duo. So we have the cream here, the powder here, and the powder is like strikingly similar to that Dior one. Actually, let's get the Dior one out and play with it. Dior Backstage Blush, and let's look at it. Look how similar that is. It is identical. So I'm gonna swatch it. And I also have eyeliner on my hand, excuse that. I was trying to make sure my eyeliner was working. Some of that on my angled brush. You have the She Sculpted Cream Bronzer by Patrick Ta, and I love that bronzer. So I have high hopes for this. I went in carefully because I'm like, what if it's super pigmented, you know, but it's actually not like too wild. I feel like it blended in well. So I'm going to go in with a little more. I do like quite a bit of blush. And this is what the cream part gives. It's very pretty, very pink and flushed, but it's not, it's not actually as hot pink as it looks on the pan. It's surprisingly very wearable. So if you're maybe afraid of the powder part, maybe you will, you could do the cream part just for like an everyday and then the powder part can be like for a night out or when you want to look more flush. So I'm going to build it up just so you guys can really see the color. It's very, very wearable. Do the Merit one on the other side to just like... It's like a balm. Seemingly very similar. How weird. Clean angled brush and I'm just going to blend that out. So that like melted into my skin. I see the hype with this, but... It's not giving that much pigment. So I have some breakouts on this side of my cheek. So this side of my cheek's not going to look the best, you know? So excuse that. Build up the pigment a little more. I do feel like I might prefer grabbing this with a brush because I feel like my makeup is rubbing off into the <laughs> onto the product. So I think it's going to be a lot cleaner to grab the product with the brush very pretty this is definitely more everyday wearable soft natural but it's there I go over it with the powder part here i'm gonna go over both sides just so they look even and oof that's pigmented okay i'm gonna just try to work with it yeah that's very pigmented very pretty put it on my nose it, it really is giving what the Dior gives. It really is. This is kind of exactly what the Dior one gives. But I feel like the main difference in the Dior and the Patrick Ta one is just in the way that you apply it. The Patrick Ta one is just so pigmented off the bat. And I feel like the Dior one is more like, I guess, beginner friendly because it's not so much pigment. Okay, I'm going to go in and set my face now. Like I told you guys, I don't have a new setting powder. So I'm just going to quickly get rid of the creases under my eyes right now and then we're gonna set just with that Huda Beauty powder. Okay, so I went ahead and popped on some liquid highlight. I just used the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Wand in Goldgasm and that's not new. I've had that in my collection for a minute but I do have a lip product. I did go ahead and line my lips. MAC Cork if you are you know a loyal viewer to my channel you know MAC Cork is pretty much the only lip liner I use and I have a whole drawer of lip liners somebody needs to get me to use a different one <laughs> a new NARS lip gloss and it is so beautiful this is in Turkish Delight I know this is not new nor viral why do I not own it I don't know what made me buy it was definitely the packaging <laughs> are we even surprised um, they now have this gold lid. I remember all their glosses having black lids when I worked at Sephora like a million years ago. And now they have this beautiful gold lid. And it's pink. Like, why not? So yeah, I'm just going to do a little lip gloss moment. 
see how this looks over top of my favorite lip liner and let's hope I love it because it looked so pretty in store when I swatched it on my hand oh and it's just like a thin glossy like yes Ooh, it made my lips give like JLo 90s vibes I like it so much I love that it gives like that pink tint to the lips do you guys see that it's like a bubble gum color in the best way possible so pretty for my complexion or like medium skin tone mac cork lip liner with gloss over top is the prettiest thing ever just make sure you kind of diffuse the lip liner a little bit just so it doesn't look too like harsh line you know so it gives like this gradient effect with the lip gloss so pretty i'm in love so let me remove this headband fix my little bangs and i will show you guys the fragrances and it is time for me to show you guys the fragrances I picked up. I'm so excited because I've been wanting these two products for a very long time. I just hadn't caved because do you see behind me how many perfumes I have? I don't need any more perfume. I'm very well aware of that. Sephora Cell is my opportunity to pick up one or two fragrances if I've been wanting them for a while, thinking about them for a while, and I no longer buy perfume like I used to because I have so much perfume i we know i don't need it basically like a body spray perfume mist hair perfume type thing and this is from sol de janeiro and when i saw they came out with this i had to have it i have the lotion the big tub yeah i got the big old one because this smells divine like it smells like burberry hair but like on steroids i don't know how to explain it it just smells so good i had to have it i did get the smaller one because you guys know i have like a pretty large fragrance collection so and i also wanted to be able to throw it in my purse and it not be like a big old bottle you know i want this to be like something i can just take with me everywhere and travel with it if i want to because that's how much i love the scent that i just want to have it all the time oh my gosh it just smells so good it's like cotton candy but vanilla bakery pastry icing all the good stuff and it is also i think able to be used for the hair i might be wrong about that but yeah so the top notes are pink dragon fruit don't we love that pink dragon fruit lychee essence middle notes are brazilian jasmine ocean air and hibiscus and the dry notes are sheer vanilla sun musk you want a good spring summer scent i think you will really really enjoy this especially if you have ever purchased my perfume recommendations and liked any of them you guys know i'm more of a like sweet floral warm kind of fragrance girl so if that's up your alley you will probably really love this Best bet is to grab your hands on it during the sale because you get a pretty good little discount on it the sol de janeiro is a little pricey so I would definitely say pick up this and the lotion if you can, if you want a really good lotion. A little trick for the lotion, because at first I was like, I don't like it. Because it like takes forever to like rub it in, because it gives like that white cast. So I found that if I warm it between my hands first and then apply it, it does not do that. So just a little tip there, if you have the lotion or if you want to get it, or if you end up getting it and you're like, Tanya, why are you recommending this annoying lotion to us? Yes, it is annoying to rub in if you don't warm it up first. I did get a new perfume. The packaging is chef's kiss. It is the Prada perfume, the Paradox Prada. And let me tell you, I smelled a few perfumes. I thought about getting the Carolina Herrera, the one with the little pink heel. And another one I really want is the Jo Malone Peenies blush blush peonies perfume and i sat there and smelled all three for like probably 10 whole minutes and i ultimately decided this smelled the best out of the three although i still would like the other two but i don't i don't need it you know so this is the one i decided to splurge on i did get the 1.6 ounce again <laughs> i don't need the big bottle and since it's a new fragrance to me i didn't want to commit to the big bottle i will usually only buy the 3.4 ounce of a perfume if i absolutely love it like the um, burberry hair perfume that's like my go-to staple favorite that's like me in a perfume this one just oh it smells so good it's like luxurious but sweet and like it smells 
like a rich girl like it just smells like a rich girl eau de parfum which if you guys don't know eau de parfum contains it's like oil based or something like that so it does tend to last longer as where toilet is more of al like i think alcohol based or water based so that tends to be more like a body spray look at this bottle oh it's so cute it's so pretty i can't wait to like sit this with the rest of my beautiful perfumes it's just gonna go so well and it smells so good i feel like this will also pair really really well with the sol de janeiro to give it a sweeter touch um because this is definitely a warm like sweet floral scent which you guys know is right up my alley it just smells so 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 nice this might be something i pick up over my burberry hair that says a lot that says everything because i have not found a perfume i love more than burberry hair since when guys like 2020 that's nearly three years now so that's a long time it smells so good it smells so elegant it's so soft it's not overwhelming but it's like sweet and it's one of those fragrances when someone hugs you they're gonna probably tell you you smell really nice they really like it i really like it and i'm so glad i waited for this out to pick it up because i got a good discount on it i would really recommend you guys pick yourself up a fragrance you've been eyeing as you guys know my little emoji scavenger hunt don't forget to leave those emojis you found throughout the video down in the comments section i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye